All right, so this morning we'll hear from head coaches as well as coordinators. Uh, but first, we're going to start with our head coaches. So we'll hear from University of Tennessee head football coach <laughs> Josh Heupel. He'll make some comments, then he'll be followed by the head coach of Purdue, Jeff Brom. And then at that point, we will open it up for questions from the media. So first, Coach Heupel. I just want to thank everybody here at the Transperfect Music City Bowl. The hospitality has been absolutely fantastic. Our players and our staff have had a, a great week here in, in the lead up to kickoff. So appreciative of, of the hospitality. Uh, the bowl truly uh, is first class in every single way. And, and uh, excited that we get an opportunity to, to finish our season here inside of our home state. Looking forward to uh, a great football game. Uh, Purdue's a, a tremendous football team. Uh, a great uh, uh, competitive arena uh, tomorrow. Uh, looking forward to, to a sold out stadium and, and uh, having a lot of fun here as we finish off the season. Uh, but I uh, just want to, again, say thank you to everybody that's associated with the ball. You guys have been fantastic. Thank you, Coach Brown. Okay. Well, definitely, uh, we're excited to be here at the Trans Perfect Music City Bowl. Uh, our team has uh, worked hard to get to this point, and uh, we're excited to, to be here to experience a great bowl atmosphere. Uh, we were fortunate to be here a few years ago, and uh, our fans, our players, our staff had a tremendous time. Um, other than the three hours on the field, which we didn't perform very well. It was, it was a great week for us, but it was a great learning experience. It's a good wake up call uh, to realize uh, what we need to do to get better. Uh, Scott Ramsey, his staff has done a tremendous job. Uh, we've had a great time. Um, it's always a great venue. We're excited to play a, a really quality opponent. Coach Heibel has done a great job with his team this year. Uh, a lot of talent, had some big wins. Uh, we know it's gonna be an environment where there's gonna be a lot of uh, orange in the stadium, but I know uh, a lot of Purdue fans will come down as well, and we're excited for this matchup, and we're looking forward to tomorrow afternoon and, and getting out there and having a good game. Uh, before we uh, open it up for questions, just to let you know that Tennessee will be the visitors team for tomorrow's game, and Purdue will be the home team. Now, as we open it up for media, we would ask that you raise your hand, and we will get you a microphone, because we want to make sure that we can get this for transcription services. So at this point, we will open it up for media questions. Tom Sparks, uh, Knoxville News Sentinel. Uh, for both coaches, uh, some people think that maybe winning a bowl game does not matter as much to players as it did when you guys played. Uh, do you think that's true? And how do you gauge the will to win this game with your players? Yeah, I think if, if you're a great competitor, um, and those are traits that we try to build and, and recruit to and have inside of our building every single day and what you do, yeah, it does matter. It matters in how you perform. Uh, it matters to you uh, individually and collectively as a team. And, and uh, so certainly <clears throat> this is a, a game that our players ha have, uh, have pushed towards to, and it, and it matters a great deal in, inside of our, our program. And, um, you know, a bowl game is unique in that uh, I think it's important that they enjoy the experience when you're at home in your preparation, uh, when you get to the bowl site early in the week. Uh, but the, the, the carrot of the whole week and the thing that you'll remember most about the experience is the game itself. You know, you always want to finish what you started, and uh, I know our guys have worked real hard to get to this point. Uh, I've done a really good job of uh, fighting through the season and uh, figuring out a way to, to finish the regular season 8-4 and four and have this opportunity to play uh, a tremendous opponent, uh, basically uh, in their home state uh, in a tremendous atmosphere we're excited about. It challenges your team once again uh, to step forward and, and see what they're made of, and uh, whoever takes the field, uh, you want to go out there and, and, and do your very best and uh, try to finish the season as strong as you can. And uh, I know our guys are going to go out there and compete, and uh, you know it should, it should be a great day of football. Uh, Jimmy Himes, the sports analyst in Knoxville. Coach Brom, assess your receiving <coughs> core without David Bell and without Wright. And also, would you talk about what you think went wrong a couple of years ago? Well, fortunately for us, we do have a lot of receivers on our team. Uh, and we're down quite a few, but that's, that's the nature of football. And uh, whether it's the last bowl game or the first game of next year, new guys are going to have to merge. And uh, this will be a great environment to see how some of these guys respond. So uh, we're looking forward to a few new faces being on the field. And uh, we still want to try to do what we do best and get the ball to our playmakers uh, and figure out a way to score points on offense and, and see if we can get a few stops on defense. So uh, that's always the goal is to just, you know, compete and, 
you know, game plan against a quality opponent and, and see if you can win. I know as far as uh, a couple years ago, it was it was uh, not a good day for us on the field. Uh, um, it was one of those games where you, you, you just like to wash away. But uh, you know what? We learned a great deal. We played a tremendous uh, Auburn team that had a lot of talent, a lot of size, a lot of guys that moved on to the, the, the National Football League. And, um, you know, we got exposed in many areas. So a lot of things we needed to work on and improve and understand, uh, you know, when you go against really, really high caliber quality opponents, you, you've got to figure out ways to, you know, get stops and get points and get an edge on special teams and win. So there are a lot of things we learned and uh, we hope to try to put on a better performance this year. Mike Carmen Lafayette Journal and Courier. Jeff, what would nine wins mean for this team and this this program based on you know year five of, of your tenure? Well anytime you can you know finish the season strong, get a bowl win, it's very important. But uh, you know, I think we understand where we're at. Uh, you know, even the Drew Brees roles, both team won eight games. Uh, we've talked to our team about it. If we can uh, you know go out there and compete and just figure out a way to to finish strong and, and get nine, it would be huge. And it's something that uh, we, we could build build upon. But, you know, it's a bowl game, so it's going to be competitive. Uh, we know our, we have our hands full. Uh, we're going to have to play well in all aspects of the game, uh, do a lot of the small things right. We're going to have to defend a, an offense that goes very fast, which really in our conference we don't see as much. Uh, and we've worked on it a whole lot. But, uh, you know, getting out there and doing it in the game is a different story. But I know our guys uh, are looking forward to Playing a quality opponent uh, that has a lot of talent, uh, you know, in their backyard, and it'll see what we're made of. Uh, Coach Heupel, uh, Jimmy Himes with the Sports Animal in Knoxville. Uh, the administration made the decision a while back to allow Tennessee to play in the bowl game. Looking back on that, how much do you appreciate that, considering that you're in Nashville right now? Yeah, I appreciate that from uh, our administration. They're going to uh, support and give our, our players every tool, every resource, but also just support them in, in their mission and make sure that we have a great player experience in every facet uh, of our program. And, and uh, you know, I said when I took the job, all those things that happened before I got there really felt like we're going to be a speed bump. Uh, that's been proven to, to really kind of play out. And, and the kids inside of our program have bought into the culture bought into to compete in every single day and that's why we're we're here and have this opportunity to play inside this bowl game yeah for Jeff uh, the production on offense is more lopsided obviously to the past with you guys how much is that by design or preference and how much of it just matching personnel You're talking about uh Passing or? Yeah, you throw the ball so much. Well, as a former quarterback, that's kind of what I like to do. But uh, <laughs> really, we, we, you know, we'd like to always, you know, figure out a way to score points. And uh, we do want to play an exciting brand of football. We do want to, you know, get the ball to our playmakers. Um, throughout this year, we we didn't have a, a big stable running backs, and we had some injuries early on, and really that we were we were thin at that position. So we had to. You know, figure out a way to score points. I think we got better as the year went on uh, at uh, you know, getting the ball to playmakers in different ways. Uh, we found ways to get our quarterback in a better rhythm and, and get completions and, and score some points. And uh, you know, every week's a new week when you face a quality opponent that has really good talent and uh, plays really hard on defense. Now you got to figure out other ways to score as well. So I think it's just uh, you know, what can we do to. You know, not turn the ball over, get points, get stops on defense, try to gain an edge on special teams, all those things uh, we work hard at. Uh, and, you know, whatever we have to do to score points, we're, we're going to try to do. Josh, why, why is this offensive system, why does this work for you? Why, why did you pick this kind of system to, to you know, to, to coach and to, to, to utilize. Yeah, at the end of the day, uh, it's an exciting brand of uh, football. Uh, I think uh, young people, young players, uh, playmakers, and, and big big skill want to be a part of it. Uh, at the end of the day, offensively, you're trying to find ways to put your kids in a position to be successful. Uh, our tempo is, is a portion of, of how we try to apply pressure to defense and, and dictate the flow of the football game.
Josh, two things. Any update on the availability of Cade Mays for the game? Yeah, Cade will uh, will not be playing in, in this football game. He will not be able to play. And then also the SEC is off to a rough start in bowl games. Do you use any game examples to say, look, when you're not focused and dialed in, what, what can happen out there? Yeah, it doesn't matter what league you're, you're playing in. I think your preparation leads to, to how you play on game day. And, you know, from the time we started bowl preparation, um, you know, you've heard me say that when it's not football time, like you got to enjoy the, you know, two, three week build up to, to the bowl game and enjoy the opportunity to have camaraderie and, and, uh, and create memorable moments. Um, but when it's time to, to be in the building, I don't care if it's lifting, I don't care if it's football, if it's meetings, it's your walkthroughs, you got to be focused on that. This group's been good in their preparation when it's been time to be, uh, be focused on their on the football side of it. Now the last 48 hours will be huge for us too here as, as we finish up today and get ready for tomorrow. Josh, why do you think your team has been so successful in first quarters this year? You've gotten off to a great start in just about every game. Yeah, doing the ordinary things at, uh, at a really high level, and that's a really simple explanation. Um, but, you know, kids understand uh, what we're going to do. Uh, they've played, uh, played smart football uh, early in the football game and in all three phases of the game, uh, been able to line up and, and execute. Any more questions for our head coaches? Well, gentlemen, thank you very much, and good luck in tomorrow's contest. Thank you all.